like a amateur gym rock hound or whatever. Um, and uh, so I didn't classify anything. I just put everything in here. So I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, he just dumped everything together, the heavies and the lights and all that stuff. And yeah, I understand that. But this is just a quick little video to show you some of the things that we found. Um, I'm not real sure about the lighting. So if you guys can see this or not, but um, we're just gonna put just a little bit of water right in here. And uh, that way we can uh, rinse some of these things off and maybe get a, a little bit better um, view of what we have here. Um, I'm sorry if you hear the noise in the background. That's my kids being loud and they know they shouldn't be. But uh, that is a very nice stone right there. I'm not real sure what it is. So also guys, in the suggestions, um, if you know what these are, just, just leave a, a little comment and let us know, you know, what we got. Uh, the folks down there at the mines, at Hidden Night Mines, told us about a few of them that we had and told us that, they, yes, they were actual sapphires. Um, but this has been a while ago, and I'm really not sure if they're still in here, if the kids uh, did something with them. But that's really got a nice brown, red tone to it. I really like that one. Um like I said, yes, I'm, I'm doing this because I want you guys to actually uh, come on and let us know what we have in the bag. Um, a lot of these rocks have very unique uh, characteristics. They're, they're really smooth on one side, jagged on the other. I mean, um, you don't just find these out in the yard, you know. Um, that's why I love that place down there. Um, I think it's for $5. You can go in and you and the family can actually um, um, actually pan or sluice. Hold on, mom was saying something. What? I don't want to rock. This other big one. Just the big rock. Mm -hmm. Come over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, underneath that one. Okay. Mm. The blue one. I think that's the sapphire. This is the... Okay. Mom saying she thinks this is one of the sapphires. Um, trying to get it cleaned off here. Like I said, we really just got it and grabbed it and left. The guys at the lapidary, we, we really didn't spend that much time there with them. Um, I really wish we had more time to spend with them. That one's not really shining like I thought. I wish I had the black light so I could shine on them and, uh, and uh, actually see what we've got. Okay, now here's a really really green i don't know if you can see that green or not but um that is a very very nice little stone there um water here's another one. Ooh, i think we may be on to something here i'm not gonna say it's emerald quality or emerald but it is a very beautiful stone nonetheless what do you think about that, guys? I don't know if you can see the light on it. I wish we'd have actually had the light on the phone while we were recording, but that is a very, very pretty green uh, tint to that stone. Um, yeah, I don't know if you got to see it. I may have been too close. But that was a very, very pretty, pretty green. All right, let's see what else we've got in the, the little box here of course some, some of this off I'm very very upset that I just can't locate one of those sapphires and like I said I, I think my son may have put those up for himself because I'm not fine there's another one of those little green ones right there very pretty green I mean beautiful green right there we, we spent the day out there. I think it was a Saturday. We spent the day out. We got there pretty early. It just got done raining. And um, there's a piece of quartz right there. And there's, I think that is what they call fool's gold down inside of, down inside of the quartz. There's fool's gold. And I know I'm a little close, Mom, but if you give me a second, it'll adjust on its own and they can see the fool's gold and I'm gonna turn it and give it a second it will adjust come on well the other side did but anyway that shining 
right there. That's that's uh, for my I think that's what you call it, fool's gold, inside of the smoky quartz. So I love those, love those a lot. Um, so we're gonna go back um, again at a later date, probably this weekend on Sunday. Um, now guys, you can't see it. Sorry about that. You can't see it at all. But that right there, that is one of the sapphires. It's just, it has all of that slag or whatever you call it all over it. And it needs to be cleaned off. But that is definitely one of them. I saw some of the red tint on it right there at the top. I know it's very difficult to see. The lighting's not that great in here. But that is one of the sapphires. We're going to get him cleaned up. We'll probably take it back to the lapidary down there and let them shine it up and polish it and see what we've got. But that is one of the sapphires. I think one of the kids, no, I think mom actually found this one. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But, um, but yeah, so we're going to uh, cut this short because we're actually getting ready to go live here in a little bit. But that's just some of them. We still got a lot more to go through and classify, as you can see. Um, just wanted to show you some of the some of the others but we've got a lot of unique stones in there we're going to go through those tonight probably do another video once we get everything cleaned up and shiny real good for you but um as always um there'll be a, a link in the description to some of the other videos um also, we, we're doing giveaways. Uh, November the 1st will be the Vibe Headphone giveaway. There'll be a link in the description for that. Also, um, there'll be some links to the Real Giveaway Guy and Silver Giveaways. Again, I have to plug those guys because they've been plugging me relentlessly um, for nothing. And I, I'm indebted to them for that so um yeah check those out we'll have a few other things other videos in in the description as well and um a website address for the hidden night mines uh in hidden night north carolina if you guys would like to go and check them out it's a great place great place to take the family and um uh it wouldn't hurt to spend a day down there so again thanks for tuning in to carlos on calls always keep god first don't forget to click like and subscribe